Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LCGM007, and today we're looking at the Smooth Timber plugin. So, this is a really awesome plugin which allows you to cut down trees as if it were real life. So, if you cut down the bottom log, the rest are going to fall down with it, and gravity is going to do all the work for you, and you just need to cut down the bottom. So this plugin is really awesome, it's very simple, it works very well and there's a few different configurations you can have. Now in terms of in-game stuff you can do the sm help command and there's pretty much just two commands, there's the help command itself and then the sm toggle and then an amount of time. So if I set that to 5, I'm now going to chop things down normally for a few seconds until it turns itself back on and then the tree will fall down. So that's very handy if you want to build a house out of wood and then do some remodeling. It won't take the whole house down, for example. So if we go ahead and look over here, this is a rather big jungle tree. However, it is no match for this plugin and I get a ton of blocks, almost 100 in just a couple of seconds. Same thing for this. And then finally, we have this big old tree over here, which is gonna come crumbling down with one hit of the axe. Now that's how it works in game, pretty straightforward, but there is a pretty handy configuration file where you can make tweaks, so that's where we're going to go now. So here we are on the SMP control panel, and as you can see, there are three YML files. Now the add ons is other plugins it can hook into, so if we have a look in here, you can see Core Protect, Townly, Jobs, MTMMO, blah blah blah, Grief Protection, World Guard. So you can't use it to potentially ruin other people's buildings because these plugins will prevent that, which is very cool. And then the messages, there's not really much in here. That's just stuff that's gonna pop up in chat. So you don't really need to mess around with that too much, but you could change the colors if you wanted. But the main place you wanna go is the config.yml. So in here, there's a few different things. Up at the top, we have the cutter. So how big the radius should be that it should affect and the different tools that will make it work. So when you cut a block, it affects a radius of two and a depth of three. We have a few options here, like do you have to be sneaking? Should it be toggleable on and off? Do you want the animation? And then should you have a specific permission, yes or no? And then down here, enchantments such as unbreaking and fortune, should those be applied? So if you do use unbreaking, you get the whole tree worth of damage rather than just one block. Same with fortune, should that multiply the amount of blocks you get. And then down at the bottom here, we've got worlds. So do you want to enable a blacklist? So you can set that to true. And then list all the worlds like creative where you may not want this plugin to work. Now here we are on the Spigot page, you can see it's updated from 1.8 to 1.19. If we click on this link, it will take us to the wiki, so if you want to find out more information, you can have a look and the various permissions that you can use. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.